Hi there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today's gear video, we're going to be continuing our look at the various pieces of equipment from First Beer. And in this video, we're going to be covering the adjustable padded two-point rifle sling. Okay, so we'll start from the uh, adjustment end of the, the sling here. This is the end you would generally attach to the, the forearm or the handguard of your weapon. We've got a HK snap here, uh, made in the USA, as you can see there. Um, nice simple option, clips to a whole wide range of sling points and they can actually clip to each other via this uh, small hole that they have inside them there. they got the, uh, the one inch webbing which is the main material used. A couple of tri-glides here for your adjustment on that end of the snap. This is your quick adjustment portion so you can just adjust the sling as easy as that. Got a loop of elastic here, all mil spec materials throughout of course. That's going to retain those loose straps for you. Adjustment buckle. This is your quick release buckle here. This thing's a pretty beefy piece of hardware. Big quick release pull here. This is actually edging tape with a couple of plastic beads on, on the inside of it. So you just pull on that and obviously the weapon's going to come away from you. Attaching it back together again. Piece of cake. Easy as that. And this is of course a uh, very tough. Ready? Another adjustment point here between the quick release uh, buckle system here and the pad. Got another tri-glide, webbing ends are all cut and heat sealed at an angle. I was a bit worried when I saw this single stitching but actually all that's doing is holding on the, the first beer uh, label there, made in the USA of course. The webbing continues throughout the pad, it's not just uh, you know, a section of webbing sewn on this end and then there's a gap and then it's just sewn into the Kodura, no no no. Yeah, the webbing continues all the way through here. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out in the camera, but uh, it is inside there. Loads of extra reinforced stitching just here. You can see all that bar tacking going on. Uh, hopefully you can see it anyway. Um, tons, of, uh, tons of thread gone into there. Really nice thick pad, very comfortable. Um, and they've sewn the seam so that sits away from your body so the nice flat plain side will actually sit against the body. Very wide pad of course, as you can tell. Uh, certainly gonna do a great job spreading the weight. Loads more stitching where it progresses into the webbing again. Two more tri-glides for adjustment and fixing of this and then another HK snap to finish it off and then this will generally go on your stock or on the one point sling hook on, a, on the base of your lower receiver uh, on an AR type rifle. So quick demonstration, got the sling threaded through a buttstock here, clipped on at the front, obviously removed the rear HK snap in a sort of middling position in terms of the adjustment right now. If you want to tighten it up, grab on the strap, easy as that, and you've got a nice tight to your body, nice comfortable controlling position. Mm -hmm. You have a bit of a loose strap here, but you can just uh, you can thread that through if you take a second to do it. You can shoot the weapon in a sort of a bladed stance, just about if you had to. Uh, obviously not ideal in terms of plate positioning. However, it is quite a nice stable position in that you really tighten up the rifle with, uh, with the sling itself. You can really lock it in, get some tension on that sling and it steadies it up nicely for the standing firing position. Put your finger under this little tab here, extends as easy as that, and then you free it more of a traditional stance. Obviously that you've got plenty of uh, free range of movement there. And tightening it back down when you're done shooting, easy as that. Quick release mechanism, nice big pull. I think one small problem would be that if you are used to like the Blue Force gear or the VTAC slings, I suppose you could pull this by accident and then you've lost your gun, but obviously a little bit of training, a little bit of practice, that should be a problem. Okay, so if you want to pick up one of these slings, I will put a link in down in the description box below to the first bit of web store. Like I say, it's an impressive bit of kit. Uh, definitely, you know, it has certain specific uses. It's not low profile, but it is certainly uh, heavy duty. That is one thing to say for sure. So again, check out the first bit of web store if you're interested in picking one up. Click the, uh, click the old subscribe button if you want more videos like this. Thanks to everyone for all the, the likes and the shares and stuff like that. It's much appreciated. Uh, if you want to ask any questions about this particular sling or any other gear equipment, 
feel free to ask those questions over on the Facebook page. Again, links in the description below. Thanks for watching again, everyone. See you next time.